Hello. So it is Monday after Thanksgiving, the 28th, I believe. I just looked and I forgot. 28th. It is the 28th. Um, <laughs> and I filmed a very short clip of me reading on um, Thanksgiving Day while I was hanging out at my in-law's house, kind of waiting for food to be done. Uh, my part was already done <laughs> um, for the cooking prep. So I was just hanging out reading. But I wanted to kind of work on doing more vlogging. I really enjoy vlogging. I love the process. Um, no, no, he's running off. <laughs> um, and I love the way that they turn out when they're done. But I'm just not very good at maintaining them. So I'm going to try to do Vlogmas this year. And uh, <laughs> hopefully this video will go up on December 1st, kind of wrapping up the start of vlogmas so i'm going to tell you guys about and i'm not posting every day i'm thinking i'm going to post once a week if the videos get too long i might post twice a week we'll have to wait and see but i want to tell you guys what i'm reading what projects i'm working on because i do crochet and i like to talk about that um i'll show you the project i'm currently working on because i'm actually working on like two right now uh so i will show you the project that i am actively working on right this moment because the other one is big and in another uh, is in my project bag. Um, as for reading, what you saw me reading in that other clip was um, To Sleep in a Sea of Stars by Christopher Paolini. Um, this author is the author of Aragon. This is a sci-fi novel. I got about 180 pages into this and I'm still technically reading it. But this book is big and the pages in this are like bible pages like they're super thin the text i don't know if you can see that the text is super tiny and i'm honestly just not a science fiction person so i'm not super enjoying this and so i'm entertaining the idea of putting this down not fully ding effing it because it is a book that i'm reading for a another like video series i'm trying to do uh that i've been working on for like the last month or so so i hopefully will come back to this we'll see but if i do put this down i have two things that i'm planning to pick up uh instead first i have uh an audible book from audible originals which is along came holly which is the third book in the mistletoe romance series i've been listening like the one comes out a year and i've listened to the other two i actually just re-listened to them this last week and this one is now out and so i was gonna listen to this one this is a series of short romance novels that follow the siblings whose parents own a christmas tree farm and like their romances and how they come to like find their partners hi baby you squish squish Each book is about one of the siblings and how they come to like find their partner. So I'm gonna definitely start the third one of this. But other than that, I'm also picked up uh, Spells Trouble by CC, PC and Kristen Cass from my library. This is the first book in the book in the Sisters of Salem series. And I actually picked this up like earlier this year, I think, and read like two chapters of it from the hit and was really enjoying it and then just got busy and distracted and never got to pick it up again. So I checked it out again from my library and I'm very excited to read it. And so I'm probably gonna pick this up as well because I'm more excited to read this and Along K and Holly than I am to read To Sleep in a Sea Stars. So that's probably what I'm gonna do for reading wise. <laughs> Other than that, I will show you my current project. So what I'm currently actively working on, like I'm almost, I'm working on it. I'm working on this. This is a little elephant. Um, he doesn't look like much right now. This is a little white elephant. Um, <laughs> he is actually for, um, my husband uh, is doing a white elephant gift exchange at our church in a couple weeks. And I decided that in addition to the actual white elephant gift he's going to give, I wanted to make him a little white elephant to include in his white elephant gift exchange. When he's done, he will have a little Santa hat I'm gonna make for him as well to wear. Uh, obviously right now he has no ears and no tail. All he has to identify him as an elephant is his trunk. Um, but this is what I'm working on. My nephew's got my crochet hook. So yeah, this this little guy is what I'm working on. His eyes are lopsided, don't judge him. Oh. Um, but uh, yeah, he's very cute. I'm very excited uh, to finish him. But yes, this is what I'm currently working on. Like I said, I am working on another project, but it is in my project bag, which is over there, which is why I keep pointing over there. So I will 
get that out. If I get that out to work on at any point, I'll show you and kind of tell you what it is. As for the specifics of this project, I am using this just white wait for yarn. It literally has no slip on it. I have no idea what kind of yarn it is. All I know is that it is a wait for and it is old uh, because it was in a box of hand-me-down yarn that came from my grandmother when they just moved earlier this year. They downsized and so she had like these giant rough totes of yarn that she never used. She handed them, she gave them to me because she knows that this is what I do and so he is being made out of that yarn. So I have no idea what kind of yarn it is but I'm guessing it's probably Red Heart because most of the other stuff in that box was also Red Heart, but it is also like from probably the 80s. I don't know, it's pretty old. So yeah, I am gonna go. Uh, my nephew is tired. I'm probably gonna try and get him to go down for a nap. I'm going to work on this guy. I will leave, th this is actually a free pattern. I can't, let me look and see what blog it was on. The Amorpho uh, pattern. He is Gustav the Balancing Elephant. You can't see that because I'm trying to show you a phone screen, but I will link this pattern in the description if you want to check it out and show them some love because it's a really easy pattern to follow. I really like it and I'm just using different colors uh, for it. So yes, other than that, I think I'm going to go try and get him to go down for nap. George is home for lunch. I'm going to watch my friend Liv's latest vlog. She's doing a uh, crochet crafty stitching um podcast vlog channel now this is her first one so i am she's in my ear so i'm watching i will link her down below if you are interested in the crafty side of things because she's doing a great job and she's also going to do vlogmas this year so yeah i'm gonna watch her <laughs> and work on this So uh, it's been about 15, 20 minutes and I finished this little guy's body. Um, he's nice and soft and squishy. So I've got him all sewed up. My nephew's crying. He just bumped his head on the wall. He's fine, I promise. <laughs> but I finished him. So next I'm gonna make his ears. Again, his eyes are so lopsided. Don't, you, don't look. I can't fix that either. It's too late. His, his ears are what I'm gonna make next. And so all he really needs, ears, uh, tail, some little uh, tusks, and his Santa hat. And I might make him like a scarf or something. I don't know. We'll see. But cute he is. All right, I will go because you know, kids. <laughs>
Good morning. It is Tuesday, November 29th. I am just hanging out. The kids are off to school. Uh, you would have seen a little clip already of me making, like, prepping Ryan's lunch, making my coffee for the day, that kind of stuff. So now I'm just hanging out with my nephew. He's just off camera here, so we'll see if he decides to pop in. And I have been sitting here working on another project. Uh, so an update for yesterday's project that I showed you, the white elephant. I did finish him. He is in another room, so I'm not going to go get him right now, but this is a picture of him. He's adorable. I'm very proud of him. I also ended up yesterday finishing another project. Uh, that I had started uh, the same day like it only took me about an hour and a half and I'm working on another one it is a hedgehog again I don't have it right now but that's because Lauren loved it so much she took it to school with her today so I don't have it but it's okay yeah it only took me an hour and I'm making a bunch of them anyway this is and I am currently working on another one this is the exact same colors again this is a picture of it this is also a free pattern that I found I don't remember where I found it but I will link it down below as well if you're interested in it most uh, projects I make come from free patterns and I think this one actually has a YouTube video tutorial as well so if they can find that I will also link it because it was very helpful. <laughs> so this is uh, a hedgehog little butt that I'm working on right now because so our church is doing um, like a gift exchange but in a way where like you're supposed to find stuff around your house that like you don't need or don't use that is like a good gift to re-gift and wrap it bring it to the church and then those will be handed out on Christmas Day to everybody. Just a fun little gift exchange because Christmas is on Sunday this year. Um, well, I decided that one thing I wanted to do for that was there's always some kids that don't go downstairs to children's church at our church. So I decided I was going to make little hedgehog families with this yarn that I have that is hand-me-down yarn from my grandmother that I talked about a little bit yesterday. So I'm going to use some of that to make these little hedgehog families and then I'll just label the gift that it's for a kid and so that they have like something a little bit more fun that they get to open on Christmas Day. That's what these are for. Like I said, these don't take very long. This uh, had a, th a tag before I caked it. This is a Red Heart Erin yarn and then this is a Big Twist yarn but I have no idea what color it was. I don't remember. So I'm going to make them in a couple of different colors. I'm going to make like three baby ones, little ones, and then like a bigger mom one. But that's what I'm working on right now. I got my nephew's <laughs> little baby toes. That's what I'm working on right now. And as for reading wise, because I am reading as well, I don't suddenly, here it is. Uh, this is my reading journal that I uh, keep. This actually spans, this reading journal started in 2020. Uh, and it has now gone through all the way through 2022. And I just had to buy a new one because this is it. I am... <laughs> I am out of pages. I bought a new one for next to start up next year. Um, but yeah, this is, it's very simple. It's just a dot grid book. And then I write, you know, I keep track of the books that I'm reading. Hello. Uh, author, uh, title, author, what I rated it, if it was an audio book, a physical book, an ebook. And then um, those little numbers are how many pages that book was so that I can also calculate how many pages I read that month. Yeah, anyway. <laughs> I felt the need to show you that. So I told you yesterday that I was going to potentially read Spell's Trouble, which is back here. And I ended up not doing that because I did read the other book I was talking about, um, Along Came Holly by Cody Hall. And I really liked that. I finished it. It was an audiobook. It was pretty quick. This is a little like, almost like little magnet things. Uh, he can't erase himself, so he'll just throw it at me and I have to erase it for him. Take a look. But I finished that one. Uh, I really liked it. It was very cute. Like I said, these books follow a family who their parents own a Christmas tree farm and it's all the siblings. This one was the youngest sibling, Holly, who runs a seasonal gift shop and has a enemies relationship with the handyman neighbor and it's an enemies to lovers small town romance. It was very cute. It was very simple. I ended up giving it a four, a four and a quarter-ish stars because I think it was my favorite one of the series. It was a lot of fun. It was just very cute. I liked it. After that, I decided that I wanted to kind of continue on the romance train. Not surprising. That's basically the only genre I read, frankly. And I ended up picking up The Off Limits Rule by Sarah Adams. I love Sarah Adams' book, The Cheat Sheet. So I decided to read some for other ones. And this one is a brother's best friend trope. The girl in this relationship is a single mom. So it was a very cute. I liked that one. I ended up giving it three and a quarter, just shy of four stars. I did really like it. Hi, baby. This is V. This is my kitty V. Say hi. 
<laughs> so yeah, I finished that like at 11.30 last night right before bed. Again, it was an audiobook. It was a really quick, quick read. And then this morning while I was getting kids ready for school, I started the next book in that series, which is The Temporary Roommate, which is a enemies to lovers story about the girl, the mom, single mom from the first book. Um, it's her brother and her best friend, who is also a single mom. So yeah, that's what I'm reading right now. I, I guess more accurately, I'm listening to again. I got these audiobooks from my local library from our Hoopla app. I had to take a break from that, and I am watching again. I think you would have seen this. I think I showed it in like a little clip when I sat down to start working on this uh, hedgehog. I am on my phone right now. I am watching a Simon Whistler video. Simon Whistler is a YouTuber. He has like 12 YouTube channels covering different topics. I'm currently watching um, a Decoding the Unknown is the channel video about uh, Bobby Dunbar. It's really interesting. I already know about this case. I just really like Simon Whistler. He's very fun. I find his humor funny. It's a lot of educational content, which is what I like. That's what I am doing right now. I'm going to go ahead and go keep working on this little hedgehog that I'm working on and I will show you him when he is done and uh, watch some videos and maybe do some reading. We'll see. So I'll check back in with you guys later. My nephew's in the window. He's being a monkey up there. Hello. So this is going to be the last clip of this video where I'm just going to kind of wrap up uh, where I'm at and what kind of stuff I've worked on, show you the things I've made, tell you uh, where I'm at with my reading and stuff, and then wrap up this video because tomorrow is December 1st and I want to start a fresh vlog series vlog tomorrow for Vlogmas. So let's go ahead and just tell you about the book that I'm currently reading because I don't have it done yet. My hope is I can finish it before I go to bed tonight just so that I don't have it carrying over into next month. But if I carry it over into next month, it's not that big a deal. But the book I'm currently reading is The Enemy by Sarah Adams. This is a book that follows two people who knew each other in high school and they were like rivals in high school. Like whatever one did the other one had to one-up them they were constantly fighting things like that they grow up and separate uh leave each other but right apparently on graduation night he almost kisses her and then doesn't and walks away instead and that's been like tormenting her since then and so this book starts at a joint bachelor bachelorette party for their two friends who are getting married and so they are meeting again at this point they have like this rivalry that goes on i'm not very far into the book yet but right now uh this is definitely going to be an enemies to lovers story i have some guesses about how the book turns out so i guess that when i finish this uh and tell you guys about it in the next video i'll tell you i guess if those came true probably not we'll see so yeah that's the book I'm reading right now. I'm not very far into it. We'll see how it goes. Uh, but as for the things that I made, first thing that I made, I never did show you the actual physical finished product. I showed you a picture and that was the white elephant for the Christmas gift exchange. He is so cute. He's got his little Santa hat with his little puff and his little tail. He's just adorable. I love him. Like I said, his eyes are lopsided. Don't look at that, but it's adorable. Just look at him from an angle. It's fine, but he's adorable. I love him. I'm very excited for that. And then, um, the other thing I ended up making were the hedgehogs. Again, showed you a picture. I've never showed you the final product, but in a day and maybe a half, almost two days, I have managed to make, uh, five hedgehogs and I'm trying to stack them right now so I can show you uh, a little bit easier here but we'll see how that goes. So here, here we go. Ah! <laughs> here, I've made these little hedgehogs, but yes, I've made five of them. Uh, hedgehogs. So yeah, I've got, this is a mom hedgehog. Uh, she is bigger than the baby hedgehogs. You can see that there, she's a little bit bigger. So I've made five of these, one mom, uh, four babies and I am working on a uh, six baby or a six hedgehog another baby uh, in another color I'm working on a yellow one right now so you guys will kind of see that in the next video I'm sure I'm gonna make a bunch of hedgehogs for some reason I'm just really enjoying them and they are really fast and really simple so I think that is gonna be it for this vlog thank you guys for watching and I will see you